Um, we're going to continue this little uh, break between the, the pitches. Uh, not a real break, stay here, but a break in the sense that we're going to listen to two more speakers before we actually, before we actually continue the, the pitching. The next speaker is going to be uh, Elżbieta Bienkowska, who is the, who used to be Polish Minister for Regional Development and Transport. She was also Deputy Prime Minister. She is currently European Commissioner for Internal Market, Industry, Entrepreneurship, and SMEs. Thank you for being with us. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy to be here. I didn't took the first uh, train from Paris this morning, but I feel like this. So I made my, my speech shorter and shorter, but I was, it was important for me to be here with you because the su two subjects of today's, of today's event, so startups and mobility, startups is almost fully mine responsibility, mobility partly because, as it was mentioned, we are working together with a group of com commissioners, with Commissioner Bulls, who has just left, and of course the other commissioners. So let me just say a few words from my perspective, uh, how important it is, and that's why how, how thankful I am to, for, for organizers for European Parliament, Karima Deli, who will be, I think, soon back, um, and, and for, for you, all of you that you are here with us, uh, let me s say just few remarks on, on uh, the opportunity which, uh, which gives us a low, uh, low emission mobility uh, because there are huge op opportunities offers for, for, for Europe also. Uh, as probably you know, the latest da data shows that uh, in 2017 purely electric cars accounted for less than 0.5% in Europe, so the new legislation in Europe, uh, while all electric electrified cars accounted for less than 1.5%, so this is clearly not enough. We are doing what we can. I've heard this today at our industry days, that public, public authorities uh, should uh, act as a moderator, and we are trying to do just this in the European Commission. So uh, we, as you probably also know, we proposed ambitious and realistic CO2 targets and zero emission carbon benchmark. Uh, we revised the Clean Vehicle Directive, very important, because we are also working for public procurement package, which promotes clean mobility solutions in public procurement tenders. This is extremely important in Europe, also to use this incentive. Incentive. Another important issue is, of course, batteries production. Probably you heard it uh, before this morning, but it will be essential to support and to maintain research and production of batteries in Europe. Um, but let me let me turn your attention for a few instruments that that we are working on, uh, very importantly focused and and uh, concentrated on on startups, uh, because of course. The European champions in mobility of today, so the car manufacturers, they will never sell me another German car probably ne next year. They are not necessarily, of course, the champions of tomorrow. There is a lot of possibilities for newcomers in the market, uh, in this new mobility market, because digitalization gives also a lot of opportunities for our startups. Uh, a key factor, and it was said by Secretary of State, for success of startups is the pri private venture capital, not only to start the business, because this is not a problem in Europe. Uh, the problem in, is, in Europe is, uh, uh, is really the moment when companies want to grow. Uh, we do not have a problem of startups, we have a problem of scale ups. So we have a large base of creative people ready to take risks to start the companies, and this is you today with us. Our issue is to start up, uh, startups are not staying in Europe. Probably you heard also this uh, during the day. We are losing uh, really our potential unicorns. So the main reason is that financing needs, needed for these companies to grow is not easily available in Europe. So we are working and with Commissioner Medas, Medas and only my services, we are working on two very specific initiatives to fix this, is, this issue. Very, I think, interesting one and, and they will be soon ready. So I think it will be interesting for you also to, to hear this. First, we are about to launch a 2 billion pan-European venture capital fund of funds to support scale-ups in Europe. Uh, the objective, of course, is to increase the size of the venture capital funds in European Union and to have it ready for, for uh, financing um, uh, the scale-ups. And second, very interesting initiative that is, that is called ESCALAR, 
uh, to attract the more risk adverse but large investors in Europe, so pensions funds and uh, insurance insurers. We will try, we will provide a certain public guarantee to these investors. We want them push them to take more risk and to invest in the European innovative scale-ups. So these are the two instruments for European companies that want to grow, that are established because we have a lot of smart, intelligent, innovative people in Europe. But the problem is the moment when they are starting to grow from five to 15 people or 15 employees. And this is a problem that we are, we are trying to, to dedicate some, some money also from the, from the European public money. So Europe is at work to become really an attractive place to start a company. And it is, it is I think. But most, more importantly, to scale up. And this was also what, what uh, uh, State Secretary was saying. This is exactly the same. We, we have much to less venture capitalists and they are much too uh, conscious. They, are not, they, they don't want to take a risk and they are much more impatient. They, they want to have their money back very, very fast, very quickly. Under, you know, after the one round of the, of, the, of, the, of the financing. So I would like to conclude this, but because I wanted to turn your attention to, this, to these two instruments who will be soon in place. Uh, I want to congratulate all, congratulate all of the participants uh, for your really extraordinary courage, ideas, innovation, uh, energy. And because really Europe needs you. Europe needs such companies as those who are taking part in this competition. Thank you very much. Thank you.